So on to the back nine, starting with the 10th, 359 yards and a big sweeping dog leg from right to left. Uh, I don't see the benefit of turning it around the corner, so I just hit an iron down to the end of the fairway. There is a tree down at the end of the fairway at 220 that you don't want to mess with, so I hit a seven iron to lay up short of that. And it goes to show how fiery it is. I ended up just through the fairway and these branches really impeded my golf shot. I only had 130, but I chose to get out a little seven iron and I tried to bump it just left of the bunker, hoping for a little bounce round onto the green. Hit a nice shot, but it didn't quite come round enough. It left me a really delicate little chip off the down slope. So I got my lob wedge out 58 degrees I balanced myself with the slope leaning forwards and then just popped it down to whole side. I was actually really happy with this chip because it was a one that could easily, easily get away from me. But I managed to do it quite well and then tapped it in for the par. 11 plays, 387, but it was a little bit, uh, it was a little bit forward tee, so probably playing about 360 today. These bunkers up on the left-hand side were at about 2.30. So I hit four iron to lay up short, just aiming up the centre of the fairway and hit a nice punch draw with a four iron. It got very close to the bunkers, but luckily stopped just short of them. So I left myself about 135 yards here. It plays about 10 yards uphill. So I took a nine iron here, hit a really solid shot. But as you see, I kind of rock back on my heels. It's very difficult to get through the shot on this slope. So another sweeping putt from left to right from about 25 feet. Um, this green can be notoriously difficult. It's very, very slopey. Uh, I gave this quite a lot of break, but just didn't give it the pace. It was a good chance and um, was a little bit annoyed. But managed to, managed to knock it in for a safe four on a difficult hole. On 12, we're on a slightly forward tee, so playing 3-7-1. This makes it a much easier hole. The cops of trees on the right-hand side are about 260 to carry, but downhill it's quite doable. So I took driver, and I aimed at the left-hand side of the fairway and gave it a really, really good smack. I was really happy with this swing. Um, little twizzle there. Uh, left myself a good little pitch into the green. Seventy six yards was the was the number, so I played a little kind of armsy fifty four, just again kind of a nine o'clock to three o'clock swing. I caught it a little bit skinny, but it was quite spinny. Um I got away with it. It left me about twelve, fifteen feet. A uh, little bit of right to left break in it. I gave it a couple of balls and as you see it was a really, really good try, but it probably had one and a one and three quarter balls that just missed on the right hand side and then tapped it in again for a good safe par. So this is when course strategy can change. On thirteen, over the last few rounds I've actually been hitting six, seven iron and leaving myself a hundred yard shot. But I've been driving the ball well. I felt very, very comfortable on this tee. Um, it was playing a little shorter, so it was playing about 312. So I gave it a good solid hit. Um, hit a really solid drive up there. So I gave myself a great look at Eagle. This was about 12, 15 foot. As you see, downhill left to right. It was a. Oh, I was annoyed with it, but it was a, it was a putt to to roll into the hole, and I just didn't quite give it enough. But happy to get a, another birdie and get three under par. Fourteenth is a par five up the hill. It's four seven five. They've grown the rough in left and right, which makes it a really really challenging tee shot. I took this over the bunker line on the left hand side. So again, two fifty to carry. So a pretty comfortable carry. But you can easily um, tweak it left, long grass. If you push it right, you'd run out of room. So a tough tee shot. It was a little tight down the left. But when we got up there, found out it was in great position. So just on the edge of the fairway. 
I had 180 yards and again it plays about 10 yards uphill. So I took six iron here which is a is a 185 club and put a really really nice solid swing on this. So this is what I've been most impressed with actually in my game recently has been my mid irons and I hit this into the heart of the green really really happy. I had a great look at eagle here so this was again 12 15 feet but this time uphill and a little bit left to right and i said to myself over the last couple gonna be a lot more positive and try and really get it to the hole and hit a great putt here right into the middle of the hole we then come on to the 15th so we're right up the back tee here um and it was playing 175 yards a little bit downhill but a little bit into the wind pin was back right so i played seven iron and i played to start it left and just drift it back in. I was really happy with the strike. It didn't move as much as I would have liked it to, but I was I was happy with the golf shot and um, playing off such a such a, a long back tee. I was very happy. What I wasn't happy about was the decision here. So I need to chip these. Um, there was too much fringe and it was quite thick fringe. I decided to putt it for safety, but I've got to man up and chip that. Um, I left myself a good sort of four foot for par which shouldn't be happening because it was the it was the most simple of chips down quite holeable to be honest um i regrouped and i hit a good solid putt it was just a little bit of right to left in it and i popped it into the left center of the hole so a par but got to chip those shots the 14th is 497 yards but it plays massively downhill so really if you get a tee shot away you can go in going in with a short iron. I was playing up the left centre of the fairway here. I hit driver, which I sometimes hit three-wood, but went with driver. Um, I made a good swing on it, but unfortunately I caught it in the heel and it just drifted a little bit left to right. It landed in the right-hand rough and then spat to the right and uh, put me in trouble, unfortunately. So here I am in the, uh, in the foliage, in the trees. Uh, I was in jail here. So the idea was just going to try and chip it out sort of 50 or 60 yards up the right hand side and leave myself a wedge in i clattered a tree um didn't really know where it went so um went looking for it it was okay it was there was no real trouble um i left myself 162 yards a little bit of a fly lie so i went with nine iron um pin was a little tucked in the right hand corner so just playing this a little left of the hole and played a pretty good shot, a um, little bit left and a little bit short of the hole. An outside chance for birdie, about 25 feet, a little uphill, a little left to right. And again, I put a pretty good stroke on this, nice rhythm on the stroke. That's what I feel like I'm doing at the minute, not hitting at the ball. Uh, it just dropped low um, and rolled to a, to a foot or so. Managed to tap it in for a par. Disappointing on that hole. That's an easy, easy birdie hole if you get the tee shot away. Yeah. So this was filmed just after lockdown and we'd reseeded the tee on 17. So um, we're playing it off, a, off a, a forward mat. It was playing 134 yards. Um, I took gap wedge. I'm right in between clubs, but I wanted to give this a really good solid strike. So I absolutely whacked a gap wedge. Hit it just a smidge right at the hole. But really, really happy with a golf shot and I thought set me up for a good birdie chance. Got up there and it was pin high, about 10 feet right of the hole. So a great chance. Bit of a sweeping putt right to left. Again, I was happy with the stroke, started out right at the hole and it just dived across the hole at the end, missing low. But the easiest par moving on to the last hole and still having a good solid score. So the last tee shot, this is 403 yards and the fairway cambers severely left to right. There are trees down the right hand side and obviously as you see trees up the left. The danger on the 18th, there is a ditch that runs across the fairway at about 320 yards. So just be cautious with that. I took five wood and put a really nice swing on this, put it into the middle of the fairway. Left myself in great position I had 153 yards, 
but it is it's the slope is really severe so what I always try and do here is I take an extra club and just play it quite quietly so I took a iron here went down the grip a little bit focused on getting a bit more knee flex and then just played a nice quiet shot played it for, to fade because of the slope and was really happy with the golf shot put it up onto the middle of the green with a good look for birdie got up there it's a little shorter than I thought it was going to be so about 30 feet uh, left to right breaking putt a little bit uphill and this is one of the first ones where I feel like I gave it a bit of a hit down by the golf ball it nearly went in but it rolled a little bit past to left myself a kind of a four and a half five foot putt for the par to shoot five under par had a little look at the line didn't think it was going to do a great deal so aimed probably right centre here. This for the this for the par. And I think you all know what's about to happen. From the tone of my voice. <laughs> so just turned, missed the putt. The only bogey of the day. Frustrating. Tapped it in for four under. Really happy with the round of golf. Not happy with that putt. Um putter nearly gets a nearly gets a breaking. But guys, thanks ever so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I'm going to continue to do this on different golf courses, hopefully. So thank you very much.